how do we get out of a chronic state of freeze? So this is complicated, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to explain some and give you some tips uh, in this video here. And what I will say is, if you can work with with someone uh, while you're working through this, it is highly valuable. I will say throughout my all of my healing journeys, trauma healing, nervous system regulation healing, all of the work I continue to do um, for myself, I always have a team of people and, and I do have that capacity um, and I make that capacity uh, a priority for me um, to be able to have multiple people's help and support me um, that I do pay. So if that's an option for you, amazing, great, I highly recommend it. Uh, we. I'm here to support if you need it. Um, we do a lot in this arena, but let's, so let's get to the basis of what a free state is. So you're in survival mode. You know, we think of like fight or flight as you're just like chronically in these survival modes, but so is a freeze response. Um, and, and freezes, you're so overloaded, you're literally frozen. Um, and, and you're in this survival mode and your body doesn't feel safe. You don't feel safe. And maybe, maybe you're in an active trauma situation, in which case, very challenging to work through that. But let's say you're not in that situation anymore and you still experience this. And this is, I mean, once again, like for me, this, this, uh, this was me forever. Um, you know, I wasn't in this, this trauma state that I grew up in, but I was still experiencing all of this. And it's because my body didn't feel safe. I didn't know how to feel safe. My body didn't know how to feel safe. I didn't know how to reconnect with myself. I, you know, there was just this lacking safety, uh, for a lot of reasons, and I and I just didn't understand how to do that. And that's really what we need to do to get out of this free state is we need to find ways to feel safe, to reconnect, and ideally, and this may not happen until a little bit later on, fulfillment. Um, connectivity and fulfillment go a really long way in maintaining this out of free state. But when you're first in this, just learning how to feel safe, learning how to feel safe in your own body goes a really long way. Um, and so being able to connect with your emotions plays a really big role in this. And so one of the exercises I always like to re recommend is sit alone or sit by yourself in a room without distractions for five minutes a day and try and identify one thing that you are feeling. And something that's really helpful with this is a feeling wheel. Um, if you just do a Google search, like what is a feeling wheel, it can be really helpful. And I, for many, this sounds silly, but I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what feelings meant. You know, I, I didn't know, you know, what did anger really feel like? Like what is sad? You know, if I was crying, I could assume that I was sad, like happiness, like what does that feel like in my body? I, I don't know. Uh, cause I was numb for so long. So learning how to identify those feelings really helpful. I will also say as you're going through this, at some point these feelings may become really big. And, and once again, like this is where having people to support you is really valuable. You have to understand that these feelings, especially if you've been in a free state for a long time, they've been there and haven't been felt and they've sto been stored and, and been festering and oftentimes growing. In our bodies and so when we really start to reconnect with our bodies and really start to feel again they can feel big especially if you're not used to feeling feelings which once again like a personal experience here like I wasn't used to feeling feelings I was proud that I wasn't feeling feelings and so it might feel really big and it might feel big for a while and that's okay you're doing what you need to do to get out of this state to feel. The other thing that you can really do, so besides learning how to feel and reconnect with these, is what makes you feel safe? What makes you feel fulfilled? And these don't have to be like big things because those can be really overwhelming. You know, like, oh, I need to change jobs because I hate my job. Like, yeah, yeah, maybe, and that's also a lot to put on yourself. You know, what are little things that you can do? Does sitting outside make you f feel fulfilled? What about, you know, getting sunlight? What about reading reading a book, listening to your favorite music? What about dancing around? Um, what about singing your favorite song? Um, coloring, cuddling up to your pet, like wrapping yourself in a big blanket, like 
what are things that help you feel safe, help you feel that you know make you feel good, make you feel fulfilled, and how can we actively get more of that in our day-to-day -day life? And, and those little things, this is not an overnight process. There's no like magic switch that you just heard on and all of a sudden you're, you're healed and you're out of the saint and you're like, oh my gosh, I just like, I feel so happy all the time and I feel at peace and I feel joy and I feel these things. It doesn't happen like that. Uh, and if it does, yay for you. Pat yourself on the back because that is not like that for most of us. So really just be mindful of that and know that it takes time, it takes practice and you'll slowly, after weeks, after a couple months, and I know that sounds like forever, but considering how many years you have in your life, it's really not, and how many years you've been in this state, maybe, um, it, you'll start to feel the difference, and you'll start to really feel it, you'll start to notice little things around you, and, and that's where the change really comes in, and it's really about consistency. The more consistent you can be with this, and, and tapping into your emotions, tapping into these feelings of, these little feelings of feeling safe, of feeling fulfilled, that's how you make big shifts over time. If you need help and support with this, we are absolutely here. I do work. We will be announcing a new program soon to help you with this. So be sure to like and follow along um, and certainly reach out if you need additional support.